Imagine if you could spend more time away. Imagine if you could over double your annual leave all for free. Well, that's exactly what I've been able to do this year. And I wanna let you in on the secret. So this video will be split into three parts. The first part, the basic principles of how to double your holiday. The second part are the exact dates that I used this year so that you can copy them for next year. And the third one are some bonus tips. So part one, the basic principles. These are the things that you really must do in order to maximize your holiday. And there's three of them. The first one is that you really want to travel using bank holidays and weekends and have multiple short breaks throughout the year because this is how you get the most time away. <laughs> the second principle that you need to follow is to be nifty with flight times. What do I mean by this? Taking an evening flight on the way out so that you can only take a half day of holiday as you still work in the morning. And this one's a little bit harder, but if you can book a morning flight when you fly back home and then you work in the afternoon, you'll be tired, but it does save another half day of holiday. The third principle is that you need to communicate that you want to be traveling more and doing more short breaks with your friends, your family, and your employer. You need to be talking to your friends and family because these are going to likely be the people that you're traveling with. And so by letting them know, instead of booking that two week holiday, you can maybe shorten it down. Again, it's also essential to make sure that you talk to your employer that this is what you want to do because the bank holidays are those times that everybody wants to go away. So you need to get those requests in early. Welcome to section two, the dates. Okay, so for this section, we're gonna be getting into the nitty gritty of what exact date there is away this year. Insert the calendar. <laughs> okay, so the calendar up here is gonna be color coded. In yellow, I'm gonna put all of the bank holidays. Pink dots will represent holidays that I took that didn't include a bank holiday. Blue dots represent holidays where I took a break that included a bank holiday. Okay, I really hope that makes sense. I started the year making the most of New Year's Day bank holiday and I took a week skiing in the Czech Republic, 3rd of January to the 9th of January. The next holiday that I took was at the end of February and this was a week skiing in France and I did this over my birthday. The next holiday is one that I would highly recommend going for these exact dates. We get Good Friday and Easter Monday, giving us a four day like bank holiday weekend. And for this one, I went to Greece. We went for four and a half days. I only had to take a half day of holiday from work. So that's a really good time to take a trip away. The next bank holiday in the year is a May Day bank holiday. I didn't go away for this one, but of course, make the most of this one in the future. In June, I went to Devon, went for four days, and I didn't take a single day of holiday. So that was nice. <laughs> Something I'd highly recommend is leaving yourself a few days throughout the year to just do spontaneous activities. So for me, was a day trip to Ascot. The sixth holiday was a trip to Monaco. Uh, vlog up here if you want to watch. <laughs> yeah, got three and a half days for just one and a half days of holiday. And then we enter the month of August. Started off with graduation. Two weeks later in August, the 20th to the 23rd, was a trip to Budapest. At the end of August, we're gifted with a lovely August bank holiday. Went away to Wales with some family friends and got five days of holiday for only two days of annual leave. Using up the last of my 20 days of annual leave this year, I'm currently in Portugal and I've been here from the 15th of September till the 20th of September. Adding up the maths of all of those means I've got 20 days of annual leave but I've been away on holiday for 47 days. So I've over doubled my annual leave but there's more. The bonus tips where I've been able to get an additional 12 and a half days of holiday. Welcome to part three, the bonus tips. The first bonus tip is Christmas. I've not mentioned this yet, but you should be able to get at least two days of bank holiday for Christmas day and Boxing Day. But also some offices are closed between Christmas and New Year. 
So this is what my office is like. And so that means I get an extra seven days of holiday, but I don't have to take a single day of annual leave. This next bonus tip is particularly helpful if you're watching this video when it first goes out. This is because from this stage until the end of December, you should have like four or five days left of leave. Or if you've just started your job, you're in a position where you can negotiate with your contract. When I started my job in October, I knew that I wanted to travel. So I just sat down with my uh, employers and I had that conversation of, is there any way that I'm able to move the four days of holiday that I'll incur between October and December? And transfer that over into the next year. Through having a conversation, they were able to say yes. If you do all of those tips, take those four days of holiday from October to December, and you add two days of weekend, you'll be able to get a grand total of 59 days of holiday for just 20 days of annual leave. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to be a bit more inventive with your holidays and to, you know, get that work-life balance right. <laughs> if you have found it helpful, please do share this video with somebody who you think could benefit from more time away. Thank you ever so much for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs> oh.